हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज वीरेंद्र सिंह एंड इट्स इंडिया टाइम सेवन ओ क्लॉक एंड दिस इज ओवर अनदर वन न्यू वीडियो ऑन मिल्टन सीरीज वेर वी लर्न ऑल अबाउट द मिल्टन व्हाट आर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मशीन व्हाट आर द सेट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सेटअप्स एंड वी विल लर्न ईच एंड एवरी सिंगल पैरामीटर ऑफ द मिल्टन सो यू कैन बिकम ए प्रो लेवल और ए प्रो प्रोग्रामर एंड गेट अ वेरी गुड सैलरी हाइक इन द मिल्टन मॉड्यूल The best benefit with for a Milton program is, I as all I already told you previously, a Milton machine are available in heavy cost. So if you have a good knowledge of Milton, you will got always a very good salary package in India, approx one to two lakh per month easily. So if you want to learn the Milton, so you are on a right place. I would like to suggest everyone, if you are a lathe programmer, milling programmer, machinist, as you are, I would like to suggest go and watch the videos, follow step by step, and start to learn all about the Milton, so you can become a pro level of programmer and get a good hike in the salary. So, in the Milton series, the previous one video where we learn about. All about that the job setup. What are the different process and what different kind of process to job setup? And in this video, we learn about that how we can make the tool path for the left side spindle. And after that, we will also try to cover that how we can make a part handling for the right hand spindle. So let we have to start to work on it. So first, that all we already make a job setup in a proper and a perfect way. So first thing that we have to do that is the facing operation. For creating a facing operation, we have to go and click on a face. We just have to click on a tool, select a reference position, and all the parameters are the same as the previous as we are created in a lathe parameter. So we have to just say okay. So this is my facing operation set. After that, I would like to make that lathe a roughing operation. So I have to click right from here to here the roughing operation. I choose a new tool for the roughing uh, lathe roughing operation. I choose a reference point for this one too. This is my reference position. And in a roughing, all these things are the same as we choose on the previous type of parameters. After this, I would like to select or create a finishing operation. So I just choose a new tool for the finishing operation. So this is my finishing operation tool. I would like to select a reference position for this one tool, and the finishing parameter are same as the previously we are choosing. The best thing I would like to suggest you or add on that is lead out one mm extra for roughing as well as finishing. So for that one, I would like to go in a lead out and extend a length one mm extra for this one tool path, and one mm extra for this. So that's the done. We are successfully. Once I successfully do this one, after that, I would like to create a proper grooving tool path. So for creating a grooving tool path, I have to go and choose a grooving tool. Before choosing a grooving tool. Let we have to analyze that what is the total length of this one area. So that total length is approx 3 mm. So we can choose a 3 mm of insert to producing this part in a perfect way. So for that one, we have to go and choose a tool that is a 3 mm of a grooving width insert. So the tool path we have to choose that is a grooving. We have to have, I have to just select a chain from this to this. And the tool which we have to select, this is called right edge here. This is my tool. I have to double click on here. The D value, insert width. I just say 3 mm. And just say okay. Have a look. Proving tool path is successfully created right edge here. If you want to add use stuff for outer boundary, these things smooth. All these things we can do. After that. If you want to add the reference position and all these things, so I hope you guys have a basic idea of how we can create the twist kind of tool path for the grooving and all these things. So we can copy and paste, and the thing that we have to change that is the chain. So just click from here to here, 
Já sei o que. Now have a look. That is some collision is happening right at here. So I just say ignore warning. Click on a parameter. Geometry. Edit this geometry and make a little length upper side and just say OK and regenerate it. Now have a look. The toolpath is successfully created right here. If we don't want the tool have to be came like this one, so we can go in a parameter and in a lead in lead out we can just say tangent tangent just say OK and now tool is going to be enter in this format. So that's all the things that we have successfully done and after that the last and final thing that we have to do that is called as threading operations. For creating a threading operations first I would like to show you the drawing. So this is my drawing and the thread value that is available M16 and the pitch value is 1.5. So thread value M16 or pitch value 1.5. So for that one we have to go to thread, choose a threading tool, add a reference point, select from table M16 into 1.5. So this is M16 into 1.5. Where is my starting point? This is this is my starting point. This is my end point. In the place of 17, I just say minus 16 mm. And right at here, I would like to click on a thread and compensate. Just say okay. So that's the thread is successfully created right at here. And once I click or create a toolpath for the threading, after that, what is the next process to create this toolpath? Once I successfully do threading, after that, after that, we can create uh, the last and final tool that is a uh, drilling that we have to do. So for create a drilling operations, I have to click on a drill. I have to choose a small size of drill that is or 220 mm okay and I can make the modification that 3 mm that 3 mm just draw this tool after that I have to make some changes for the holder also so make it uh, 20 and again draw draw that's the perfect thing we can choose this tool add a reference position is also perfect and the depth value that is important for us that I just click right at here in place of 58 I just say 60 and just press OK I would like to check a simulation and that's the perfect and I, again I have to came in a parameter in a parameter I have to make some changes for this tool holder values because the length value is so large in size so I would like to change in place of 180 I choose uh, 30 mm and draw tool so that's perfect but the, that is some happening so the length tool length value that was total 120 mm so I just have to choose this 100 mm again draw tool I have to make some changes is 130 and again draw that's the perfect combination of this tool and that's we can just select ok so that's all these things we are successfully created right at here if we want to make some changes in the length so we can reduce these things so we can just say 70 80 100 and draw right at here in a holder we can say in place of 130 120 and draw all these things are getting successfully created right at here and just say okay so as you can see here my toolpath is successfully created right at here and we can simulate and check all these things with the clicking on a G1 
once we click on a G1, so Mastercam automatically open a 3D simulation on this one page and once I click on a launch, so it automatically bring you on a new page where the, all the machines, operations, tool are going to be set up on a machine in a perfect way. So I can add on again axis, machine, fixture and tool. So that's the, all these things we successfully on and now I would like to play this tool path. I just increase a uh, speed little high so that was the previously was face after that the rough after completing of rough the next operation is finish after finishing the next operation is groove after successfully completion of the groove the next operation is thread Once my threading operation successfully done, look at this. After that, I would like to show you the drilling. That's successful done. So that's all about that. We have to create a tool path on a double spindle machine. So tool path and all these things are the same. Like as a drilling, all to threading, grooving, facing, roughing, are similarly like as a turning. But in the next one video, there are something new for you guys, and that's. The thing that we will learn about that how we can create a part handling and after completion of the part handling how we can create a tool path for the right hand spindle that's the main and very important thing that you every single person have to know that how the things are we can do in a milton so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video with a lot of new things and a lot of new knowledge so keep learning keep growing